Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are going to be taking a, another look at an interesting mod, this time in the form of KAX, or the Kerbal Aircraft Expansion, which is made by forum user Captain. And it's it's a really cool little mod. Now, if you have uh, watched my videos for a while, you know that I am awful with anything that comes out of the space plane hangar. I am not good when it comes to aircraft of the plane variety. And, uh, well, I still like to take a look at interesting parts and mods and cool crafts that people make. And this particular mod is one of the cooler ones I've seen in a while. Now, the first bit that it adds is this C2B Horizon Cockpit. And it's a interesting little cockpit. It's supposed to hold three crew, but at the moment, they don't quite show up right. This is a very new addition to the mod. I uh, just recently added uh, the other parts, which we'll get to in a moment, uh, are a bit more tried and true tested. Uh, this one, on the other hand, still has some kinks to work out. It's in an early version. It holds three crew, though they don't show up when you actually go to control the plane. There is no internal view at the moment, but hopefully and, well, I'm fairly certain that it will come in time with the quality of all the other parts. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool-looking cockpit to add to the game that gives a more commercial feel to things. I, I quite enjoy the look and feel of it. Now, as for other parts of this mod, and my favorite bits, the propulsion. And this adds two bits into the game, the PT-100 turboprop and the E-50 electric propeller engine. Now, for these to work, you do also require the fire spitter mod, uh, so you will have to get that as well. Though, actually, the download that I grabbed uh, does include a fire spitter in the zip file, so you should just be fine to uh, grab this and go. And, well, this turboprop engine is quite a powerful engine, and if we just kind of plop it on, you can see the size of it. It is quite a large engine, but a very, very cool one, and also has some wonderful sound design to it. Now, the electric propeller engine, unlike the turboprop, which just uses your general same aviation fuel and air intake that all the engines use for airplanes, this one is purely electric, and it's wonderful. <laughs> oh, though my word does it use a whole lot of electricity, but it is it is a really, really cool engine. It, it, probably my favorite part of the whole mod. Now the last bit, well actually let's pop this on here for a size comparison as well, there we go. You see that it is much smaller than the turboprop engine. Of course, it is a, an electric one, but uh, much cooler, more sleek design. I do quite enjoy it. And, well, the last part of this mod that it adds in is this heavy gear assembly. Now, it's similar to the regular landing gear, only it is gigantic. And, of course, can handle a much larger load. You know, the larger planes you make, the less stable these little small gear bays get and eventually they will buckle under the pressure. Uh, these, on the other hand, are, well, heavy duty, and they are very, very strong. I came in for a landing earlier that I thought was going to be a complete failure because I was coming in way too hard, and, well, these actually cushioned the landing much better than I thought. It, it, it was still a crash, but it wasn't as bad of a crash as it could have been. And yeah, these are the four parts of the mod at the moment. Not a whole lot to the mod, but constantly being worked on and new parts are being added all the time. The original mod, uh, when I first saw this uh, KAX mod ages ago, it was just the landing gear, then the turbo prop came, and then the rest of the stuff. So I can't wait to see what gets added to it next. But we actually take a look at some airplanes that I've built with it. First, we'll look at Will Never Fly, and that's because I wanted to build something with this cockpit on it. And yeah, this thing will never fly. It barely has enough uh, engine power behind it to even get an inch off the runway. Once you get to the end, you just sort of fall. But uh, I just wanted to throw something together real quick to show what this thing looks like 
and in comparison with the fuel tanks that you have, it is the size of the large orange tank. So I'm, I'm hoping that the mod adds in the future some sort of uh, fuselage that is this size, because my word is this orange tank heavy. Plus it has a whole load of liquidizer, which is completely pointless for this mod. Now the next one that I built actually should be able to fly, and that's will probably fly. <laughs> and this one I made with the turboprop engines and the heavy landing gear, which you do actually really need it for these propellers because, well look at how tall the uh, landing gear are in comparison with the engine. If you have the small ones on there, that prop is going to be digging into the ground. So let's just uh, go to the launch pad real quick with this, or the runway rather, just to show off these engines and more specifically the sound of them. Uh, it's probably my favorite bit about the, these engines in the game is their absolutely beautiful sound. And if we just throttle up, turn on the SAS, there we go, turn it up, you can hear the clicking of the engine. There we go, it's winding up quite nicely. Plane is starting to dance, and let's go off. Oh, just listen to that gorgeous sound. The nice hum of a propeller, it's just, it's beautiful, it's, it's quite a wonderful sound. I always love when, uh, engines in mods add their own sound designs to it, and these engines are just wonderfully sounding. And, amazingly, my crappy little plane flies. Let's just uh, bring up those landing gear. There we go, and yes, we have a functioning propeller plane here in Kerbal Space Program. Do a little roll for uh, victory, and uh, poor Kelamon, or Kelamoni Kerman, he's He's not going to be long for this world with me flying, but we're going to actually just revert flight back to the space plane hangar and check out the last plane that I made with the electric engines, which I'm not sure if they will fly or if it won't, so it will or will not fly, we'll have to see. Now this is probably one of the strangest planes I think I've ever made, it's just a fuselage made of batteries. We have the normal small landing gear because I wanted to save on weight. And four of the electric engines. I don't know how this is going to work, but you know what? Again, I just care about the beautiful sound design on these engines to uh, show you. So if we come over to the runway, load up please. There we are. And I'm going to be quiet as these engines spin up because I want to hear how the they sound and they are wonderful. Oh my! Okay, so these engines are more powerful than I thought and that thing being... Oh my... Oh! Oh god! <laughs> well. Well. I didn't expect that. I did not think that that would... Uh, go and fly so quickly. I was thinking it'd be like the uh, turbo props and that it would sit there for a bit as I had the brakes on, but no, it sort of squished into the ground and then I released it and it went all crazy. So let's let's try this again with the brakes off and uh, just take off. So yeah, that this plane, my word, it is <laughs> impressively Oh my, oh. It has a lot of lift. I think this is the quickest I've ever taken off a plane in my life, and uh, it actually flies surprisingly well. Though, dear God, look at all that electrical charge. We are, oh, we're already past one third of our electric charge gone. And uh, that's a whole lot of batteries we have attached to this thing. But yeah, these, these electric engines also, beautiful sound, much like the turbo props, but with that lovely electric flare to it. And they have far more thrust than I thought that they would. Really, this thing would probably fly just fine and also last a lot longer with only two engines. So keep that in mind if you download this mod and uh, give the electric engines a try for yourself, because this is about to die right now. And hold on. And we're out of electric charge. <laughs> <laughs>
And it's not a very good glider considering the weight of all these batteries. So, explosion. There we go. Lovely. Oh my. I do love the sound of uh, those engines though. That is probably my favorite part of this whole mod. The sound design is glorious. The two new engines that this adds in are just superb. The landing gear is definitely needed for your larger aircraft. It is a welcome addition, and I cannot wait to see how this cockpit changes and gets better in the future, hopefully with a good internal view, and preferably with some nice fuselage choices. I, I do really, really hope that this mod keeps going. It is quite nice, and I cannot wait to see what Captain does next with KAX. So yes, if you would like to check this mod out for yourself, links as always are in the description. I'm gonna take those two engines off, go back to launch, and uh, try flying this thing again. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and of course, that uh, you do go and try this. You, you really do need to. Uh, the engines are wonderful, especially these electric ones. I love these. They are glorious, and wow, this thing still takes off so quickly just with the two engines. But yeah, go and check out this mod, link in the description so you can go and do so. And I hope you have enjoyed this video, and of course, that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. I kind of feel like uh, flying with an RC plane here, that's what it sounds like, but it's, it's wonderful. Later, guys!